And welcome back. Once again, we are here. My name is Zach. I'm joined by everyone's favorite diesel mechanic. Thank you, Billy, here. Yep. And we got another tech call for you, folks. Yep. Yeah. We're getting into spring now with uh, a little bit warmer conditions these days. Yeah, this one's a little bit different because uh, this is this is one on our own product. And, and you know, we, in the sense of fairness, we want to... Yeah, you know, we want to be transparent. You know, we're, we're not going to say that our product is perfect 100% of the time. And if you hear that line from someone else, just know that it's a line. It's a line. Um, so recently we sat down with Keith, and uh, he had a 7.3 Ford Power Stroke. Um, and he had purchased from us a set of injectors for that Power Stroke, set of AAs. And uh, turns out there were some problems. Uh, injectors number one and four were not firing. Uh and he, uh, he he ran a few tests before he called in, but then he once he got us on the phone uh, after talking to you and telling us a little bit about his process that he had put in place up to that point, we uh, we, we learned some things on the call. Well, there, there's always, um, you know, in 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 troubleshooting, you, you reach a point where sometimes you just change parts just as an elimination process. Mm-hmm. Now, I will say, and you know, in this instance, um, he did a lot of things right before he ever called us, and and I really appreciate that. And I and you know, and I appreciate customers understanding that you know we're not perfect. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, but I do take a lot of pride in the fact that one, we're here, we're talking to you. You're, you're not going to sit on hold to listen to, you know, somebody in Malaysia oh, trying to answer I your hate, question. I hate phone trees so much. Um, and, and more importantly, you know, I, I like to pride ourselves on the fact that we use some common sense. When we get to a certain point in a process, we can say, you know what, let's try to, let's send you two warranty injectors. Right. And, uh, and so that, that was how this call evolved. Yeah. And we, we saw in the call that, uh, he had, and like, like I said, uh, one and four were not firing. He moved the number four injector over to a number six, uh, cylinder and the problem followed the injector. Is yeah, this ringing a bell now? Exactly. And this is a kind of a classic um, uh, mechanics 101, um, you know, when you have the ability to do this. And, and, you, and you're, tr- you're trying to pick a path mm-hmm. for repair. And, um, and so, you know, the, he had already done this prior to the call. Um, and... You know, bottom line was is is after, you know, conversing back and forth, um, you know, we decided, hey, let's go ahead and just, you know, replace these injectors and, and hope that solves the problem. Yeah. So let's take a look at the call. Hello. Uh, yes. Yeah. I was looking for Keith. This is me. Hey, my name is Billy Williams. I work in the tech department of diesel care. Yeah. And, and just to make you aware, all my calls are recorded because some people – have an okay. aversion to that. Um, I was asked to reach out to you. You'd bought a set of injectors from us, and you were having a looks like a misfire on a couple of injectors, and yeah. um, you wanted to. Uh, you know, you'd asked for a technician to call as well. Um, so tell me a little bit about what's going on with your truck. Well, I I, I put a set of injectors in it, mm-hmm. and uh, changed the back. You know, it's a seven three ninety seven model. Right. Uh, change the valve cover gaskets because you know I know they can break down, and mm-hmm. change the pigtails on it and put glow plugs in it. You know I'm doing the whole thing as I got the valve covers on. Sure. And uh, got the passenger side done, you know, and and uh, check all them. And and when I say check them, I, I crank the truck up mm-hmm. with a valve cover off, and I'll unplug the injector individually. Right. Oh, just kind of the pigtail that, that hooks on the injector itself. Well, the passenger side's fine. Went to the driver's side, got all of them in, cranked it up, and it's just running. I mean, it was running with a dead mess. Right. And uh, my back two injectors on the driver's side were working. I had unplugged them individually, and the front two were not working mm-hmm. at all. So I went through my wiring harness to make sure none of my wires was broke. But, uh, and then I pulled them out, the two out, and uh, changed them with the back ones, you know, because they're all the same injector just to make sure because I knew the back ones were working. Well, then the back ones quit. Okay. So I got two of my old injectors out of, you know, that I had taken out 
two of the better looking ones that didn't look as dirty. Mm. And I put them in the truck and they're, they're actually working now. Okay. So, uh, just by installation, these two are, they're, they're not firing at all. They're not doing anything. I mean, it didn't change when it was sitting there running and I'd unplug them individually. Uh, it didn't change the tone of the motor. It didn't change nothing. It was just running with a dead mess. Right. Well, I, I certainly can't argue with your with your troubleshooting there. Um, I, I have had um, probably the number one call that I talk about is those valve cover gaskets in particular. Um, yeah. You know, I, I've had instances where uh, you, you can kind of grab some of the plugs and just wiggle them, and all of a sudden it'll start working. Uh, right. Um, the, well, I went as far as to, you know, cause you can get new stuff that don't work. Sure. I had new valve covers. I unplugged them and you know, they're all interchanged with, you know, the passenger side and the driver's side. It's the same valve cover. Yes. Sir. Um, so I actually have my old valve covers mm. gaskets and I actually put them on there. And then I, you know, after I put the new inject or the old injectors, in and it started working i even swapped a valve cover gasket back out with my old one to make sure that it was not you know something broke in that new valve cover gasket and it is uh, the only thing i narrowed it down to was them two injectors just are not they're not firing yeah and let me ask you a question uh, since you put the injectors in how much total runtime have you had um uh not not I mean, I haven't driven it down the road. It's still in my shop out here. Um, I, I didn't I didn't drive it at all. I mean, I just let it sit out here and run, thinking maybe they would kick in. And the whole time I'm the whole time I'm playing with the wiring on it, it's running. Right. And and I would unplug it and plug them back up, and wiggle the plugs, and I just never could get them two to work. Right. Um. And like I said, I the very last thing I did, I just to my old injectors i went through my old ones and was looking at the cleanest ones sure and and i when i put my old ones back in there i mean it's running great it's running good right now but i don't want to leave two old injectors in it no not at all and and my point and that's and and i don't i mean i've got my valve cover sitting on it of course because i don't want nothing down in my motor but i've just got a couple of screws on it and while it's you know your turbo boots off and whatever things off to where i can get through it that's why I called. I, I mean, I could actually drive the truck now because it's running. It's running great since I put the old injectors in it. Right, right. I just don't want to leave old injectors in it. You know, have have all new ones and two old ones. But you know, they'll go out on. It. <laughs> sure. Yeah. I, no. But I, I was. I, I'm trying to. Do, I did everything. This is. Uh, I put new glow plugs, valve covers. You know, I mean, when you do injectors on these trucks. To me, it's better off just to put the whole set in it, change the valve covers, and then you usually don't have to worry about it. I, I tend to agree with you, and and you know, I I, I mean, our, our test rig that we run the injectors on generally does a good job, but you know, sometimes uh-huh. sometimes something can can get through there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, uh, send my, my notes back over to the salesperson, and they'll take care of getting you a warranty on those two. Okay. And, um, and they, they will, uh, get them out to you. Now they'll, they'll send you some, like a warranty document, uh, to sign. So you might be looking for that. Um, yeah, but, uh, she already did. Oh, okay. Uh, good, good, good. Smells everything, but she told me that, that you would be calling me to be looking for your call. And, uh, and so that's what I've been doing. Uh, and I'll, I'll get on my email and fill out those two pieces of paper. Cause I just got, I've got a lot of time uh, about getting my cores back because I just got my delivery day before yesterday. Right, right, yeah. Uh, and that's what I was asking her. If this all went through, do I need to send these cores back and then wait on them? And she said I could just wait. So more, more than likely send me two injectors and I can send all my cores back at the same time. That's exactly right. Yeah, and we just put them all back together and send them back. And uh, like I said, I'm yeah. going to put notes on the system. Uh, t- one quick question um, yes, that yes. I didn't get, um, they didn't get in the notes. What is the mileage on your truck? 258. 
258. Okay. All right. Yes, sir. It's a 97 and a half 250. Uh, and that's what's on it you know, right now. And that's, uh, I had, and I knew I had a, one of them old injectors. I mean, it, it just got to where it was, you know, not idling good, running weak. And, um, I'm just kind of trying to restore it. And, uh, so that's why I went with, uh, go ahead and change glow plugs and, you know, new valve covers and put all the injectors in it. So, sure. If, if you're going to take valve covers off and do that, I mean, I don't have no fancy tools or nothing or no computer system. I got a scan tool, but I mean, it's not throwing a code either. It's just, it just, I mean, on installation, it has never, it never smoothed out. You know, it was just running with a dead mess. In it. Right. And this just so happens I put both of them side by side. You know, I had them in number one and number four right beside one another. So, uh, you know, sometimes when you got a bad injector beside another one, it passes that one up. But I, I switched them around, and, and then I ended up just putting two of my old ones in there. And like I said, it, it's, it's running great right now. Right. Honestly, I, I don't know that I would have done anything different. You know, on the 97, you can't really get a lot of – you know, the later models, you can plug a scan tool yeah. in and, and it'll tell you, you know, everything uh, that you want to know and more. But the 97s, right. unfortunately, they right. were kind of outside of that loop. So you have to kind of go old right. school, which honestly, that's what I like to do anyway. So, uh, <laughs> well, I've got a, I've got an O2 model and I've, I actually got a friend that worked for Ford and he actually on, on that, uh, on that 2000, well, I had a 2000 dually at the time, but they're the same as my O2 out here. He actually had a tool you could plug in, and while that truck was running, he had like a button rigged up on a board, mm-hmm. and he could kill the injectors individually. He had them numbered on his board while that truck was running. He could just hold that button with that truck running, you know, through the pigtail, and and it would uh. It would kill that injector, and you know if your truck's sitting there running, and you hit that injector, and it don't, it don't change anything. You you could pinpoint what your injector was bad. I mean, he he had a pretty good setup on that. But, yeah, but then that, like the like the two thousand two, you have to uh, now eight number eight cylinder had you had to put a different injector in it. Right. But the the ninety sevens, which this is my this is my first ninety seven. Seven three and 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 when I called up there, uh, he said that that was before all that you had to do that. So all of these injectors are the same. They're they're aren't they uh, AAs or something? And then then what was the O twos? Then you had to put an AD in the back one. Well, the, it was seven ADs and one AE. If you chose yeah, okay. to go back OE, that was what what they called a long lead injector, which was. Um, it was something Ford came up with because customers complaining about a cackling problem and they thought that number eight cylinder was taking longer to get hot. So, oh, they, okay. so they, this injectors is, is the same. It's the right. solenoid that actually makes it a long lead. And, um, but I gotta be honest with you. I, I, when I had my shop, I had a lot of customers. I, I just said, just put all ADs in there. Um, right. And, right. and I, I, the the problem that I always tried to avoid was, you know, when you send out to customers and they don't pay attention and then you get a long lead injector in the number three hole. Well, you, oh, you know, that oh. you, you don't, you don't, you know, you don't want to do that. And sometimes it's best just to put, have all of the same thing, but you're right. This was a, uh, these are what's called single shot injectors, which means uh-huh. it only has one spurt per, per fire. Okay. Where, whereas okay. the split shot injectors, they they had multiple um, firing events and it was all due to emissions trying to you know make make okay. our trucks street legal but uh, yeah but what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get this information over to um, the warranty sounds like they've already uh, got ahead of me but I'm gonna put my notes in there this is my cell okay. number if you have any further questions you can just call me direct okay um, all right. Now, you, you know, if you're a betting man, bet on getting a busy signal, but just leave me a message and, and I'll call you back. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, like I said, it's just, you know, and I, I know anything, you got solenoids in there, but I, like I said, do I need to do, I mean, I know they'll go through them, but, and they'll be able to tell the difference when they get my cores, but 
I mean, two of them look brand new, you know, the ones that I just got. And uh, I don't know if you, I, I know y'all test it, but I didn't know if I needed to write anything special on the box with them two in it. Um, that, just them all in yeah, the, just send them all together. They'll be looking for 10 cores coming back, and then they, yeah. they'll separate okay. those two out, and then it'll go through a warranty process, and okay. uh, they'll try to determine – you know what happened whether it was a parts failure or something along those lines but uh you can just send them all back together and like i said if you have anything further give me a call i appreciate your patience on it and uh we'll try to get this thing corrected for you okay well i appreciate it all right sir have a good day you too bye so we took our lumps on that one uh keith we we hope the 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 new warranty injectors we sent out to you uh have been able to correct your problem um, yeah, I, you know, I, uh, just after, um, uh, the call, I talked to the salesperson and, um, who took over the warranty from me and, uh, they were getting them out, have not heard back from him. I put him out on my calendar. Um, and so I'll reach back out to him. Um, but you know, this is a good example of, of, you know, we have some of the best test equipment. Um, right. we have a process is. we run it through, but things happen. You know, our, our test equipment, as good as it may be, it's not going to catch 100% of the problems. You know, I, I run our warranty rates um, uh, two, three times a year. And, you know, we generally fall in the half percentile range. So, you know, out of 100 injectors, every every couple of hundred injectors, you're going to have one or two bad. Yep. That's why and, we have the warranty department. And that's why we have the warranty department. And, and I guess... In truth, if our product was perfect, they really wouldn't need me. So, well, uh, so we're going to keep having problems occur so that you can continue to have a job. Uh, in the meantime, uh, let us know if you have any questions about your diesel. You can reach us at 1 800 961 9290. You can learn more about our company at www.dieselcare.store. Anything else you want to say to the folks out there? I just I really appreciate the um, in level of engagement. I, we've had a couple of instances where customers call in and they recognize my voice. And it, we're not actually doing a tech call with all the cameras and lights and all the stuff, but they they think they're on the air. Oh my! Gosh. And and it was it was re- you're uh, such a celebrity. No, no, gosh, no. I, uh, <laughs> um, but it it's it, the response that we've gotten is generally good. Those that the, the times when we have a negative comments, you know what we have, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. And, and we're not perfect, you know, but I, 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 I like to think that we try to do a good job and, um, the response that we get generally is great. And, um, so well, we I, appreciate I, just, it. I, I really do thank the people out there for, for responding, uh, tell your friends and, and if you have any suggestions, any questions, just. Get, yeah. in co- get in contact with these guys and they'll- content you want to see videos tutorials anything you'd like to hear him talk about diesel we'll uh we'll, we'll give you what you want all right we'll all see right. you next time thank you yes i'm built out and bound to go i'm gonna leave leave here running because walking is most too slow all right back to one